Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and delicious sheet cake. So here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of salted butter. One cup of water. Two cups of granulated sugar. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two eggs. A half a cup of sour cream. Six tablespoons of cocoa powder. One teaspoon of vanilla. And our last ingredient, one teaspoon of baking soda. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, I'm gonna get my butter into a large bowl, and I'm gonna melt my butter down. So I'm gonna pop this into the microwave. I'm gonna melt this and I'll come back. While my butter is melting in the microwave, I'm also gonna take my one cup of water and I'm gonna heat that until it's hot in the microwave as well. So here's our butter, all melted down, and I did use the defrost mode because I want a very gentle heat when melting my butter. We also have our water, and I'm gonna get that in there. The water is extremely hot. And I just use the regular mode to heat my water. And then to that, I'm gonna add in all of my granulated sugar. I wanna use the heat that is in our bowl, in our two ingredients, to get all of that sugar completely melted. So I want to have a very smooth cake. Just give that a little whisk. And then I'm going to add in the cocoa powder. And you can see why we sift. You see all the little pieces in there? I'm going to grab the back of a spoon and just break those through. Perfect. I'm just gonna grab my whisk. Just get all of this well mixed. And my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's completely mixed, I'm gonna switch over to an electric mixer just to make this easier. So the next thing we're gonna do We'll get our eggs in. I'll grab my mixer. So that's egg number one and egg number two. Okay, so that's good. Once you feel the eggs are well mixed, we're on to the next step. And I'm gonna get in all of our really nice sour cream. I love sour cream. Use a spatula to get everything out of your bowl. That's good. Grab our mixer again. That's good. And then we'll get in our final ingredients. We're gonna get in our vanilla. I'll just give that a little stir. So we have our flour and our baking soda. And the baking soda is what's gonna react with the sour cream in this recipe. So instead of using baking powder, we're using baking soda. And then final time, grab our mixer, and just slowly mix all of this in. So I'm just using speed number one. And just slowly get it all combined. So that feels nicely combined. So we are ready to fill our pan. I'm going to be using an 11 inch by 17 inch pan today. What I've done is I've lined it with parchment paper. All I've done underneath, I greased it a little bit just so that the parchment paper would stick. And then as usual, I just use my little metal clips to hold my paper in place. If you're not going to use parchment paper, you're going to grease your pan and then you're going to lightly flour it. We'll grab our batter and we'll get that right in. Whoa, that looks so good. Now since this cake is so thin, you really have to be careful. You're talking about 20 to 25 minutes maximum in your oven. Okay, that's good. While I was washing off my hands, you can see that the batter is spreading out 
by itself. There's no need to really, you know, touch it too much. You can kind of move it around. I can remove my clips now. And then just get it into the corners. And that's good. So now I'm going to pop this into my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. So here we are, exactly 20 minutes in my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. This smells really, really good. Extremely hot at this point, so I'm just going to let this completely cool and then we'll come back. I'm going to finish off the video. We're going to put on a really nice chocolate frosting and we'll finish up the video. So this is about an hour later and my cake has completely cooled. So at this point we can frost it. What I have here is a dark chocolate frosting. If you want to see a recipe for this, I'll put it in the link underneath this video. And this is a really, really nice frosting. I think that's pretty good. Let's grab an offset spatula. And we'll just quickly frost this up. And you can put on as much or as little as you wish. I am probably going to add a little bit more. Alright, I've decided to use the whole batch. Oh, this smells really good. So you can see that this is a really, really simple cake and the frosting is really simple as well and you will enjoy this frosting. I think that looks good. So the last thing to do, we'll just get right in here and cut a nice piece. You can see with that parchment paper it just makes it really easy to get this out. Look at that. Ooh. So let's turn this around. And I'm going to zoom in so we can actually see what we've done here. So I've just zoomed in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Look at that nice cake. And this cake is super, super moist. Watch this. Look at that. See how easily my fork cut into that? Mmm. Wow. That just melts in your mouth. Oh, that was really, really good. And as you see, the first piece of a cake like this, when it's in a tray, is never the nicest piece. So you might want to cut off a little bit of an edge and then start your cake coming this way. So once you take out that little piece, it's easier to get the cake actually out of your tray. So for the beginning of my video, I'm actually just going to chill this cake a little bit so that I can get a really clean slice and that's what you're going to see on a plate, something like this. A really, really simple recipe. I hope you try it out. This is a really, really good cake. That's it for today. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.